Ram and Adrian, good morning. A totally different situation on campus than what we saw yesterday. Like you said, the campus is closed. Gates like the one behind me has been closed since yesterday. And we've been seeing a few people walk up to the gate. It looks like they're talking with an ambassador on the other side. We saw one person get let in because we understand that they have to have proper identification to be on campus. By the way, I just got off the phone with the LAPD for an update on arrests made during yesterday protest. I'm told it stands at 93. Our Robert Kovacic spoke with those being taken into custody. Anything you want to say to us? Free Palestine. That was the message one by one with their wrists zip tied, taken into white vans into police stations for misdemeanor trespassing, according to the LAPD. The pro Palestine protest at Alumni Park was scheduled to take place all day yesterday, but it wasn't until about noon when things really escalated. Campus security say some students were violating the private university's policy that prohibits camping on campus. The group was eventually asked to disperse after several warnings. The LAPD moved on campus in tactical gear and those arrests were made. We spoke with protesters and Jewish Israeli American students. It's about the suffering of the Palestinian people, uh, the martyrs there, trying to put an end to, to the Israeli occupation and genocide that's ongoing. I've been here 27 years as a faculty member. This is one of the largest political protests I've ever seen. I'm very proud of the students for standing up for what they believe in. Jewish students on this campus feel threatened and we feel intimidated. I'm very upset personally. I have my parents calling me from the East Coast asking me if I'm okay, if I'm safe, and honestly, I'm, I, I'm not. A mix of emotions and organizers say the group is demanding the university cut all financial ties with Israel, full amnesty for pro-Palestinian activism. The occupation action here at USC is part of a growing list of college campuses. We know this across the nation that have been seeing encampments and protests over the Israel-Hamas war. I do want to mention we are told there's supposed to be extra security on campus. When we arrived here a little bit closer to four o'clock before four o'clock. We did see a lot of security around the area. They're staged in certain parts of the campus as well. We're also told there will be an increase in LAPD patrols. It's not clear if any of those protesters will return here today. Reporting live from USC, I'm Lauren Coronado for Today in LA. All right, Lauren.